All right, I'm going to attempt to show you my process of animating and procreate while I'm holding my phone in my hand. We'll see how this goes. Uh, so I've discovered procreate can be a decent tool for animation with a few tweaks by the makers at procreate. Uh, it could be even better, but right now it does some cool stuff. So here we go. We'll just do the bouncing ball. So basically you just want to animate, I'm going to do this really quick, but you want to animate um, each frame on a separate layer. So here's the ball as it's falling down. Bouncing back up. Okay, not super rough, but it's enough to get you the idea. So after you've animated all your frames, you're going to hide every frame except for the first one you want to show. Over in my layers here, I create a new layer. I'm going to rename it Animate. So this is the frame or the layer that I'm going to control how long each frame stays on the screen in the animation. Um, so I'm going to start with the blank canvas and I'm on my animate layer and I'm going to select white so it doesn't show up. Well, I'll do black so you can see and then normally I do a color that doesn't show up but I'll mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 10 marks on the canvas replays a, at about a half a second, so that's going to play for half a second. I leave my layer selected on the animate layer, but I unhide the next frame I want to show. So I just uncheck or checked that first layer one, and I'm going to mark 10 more, another half a second, and then hide that frame, turn on my next frame, hide that frame, turn on the next frame, and I can do it all in one spot. Okay, and I'll go ahead and just get white and do it with white. So I normally use a color that doesn't show on the background. So the whole time I'm keeping on the animate layer and I'm just hiding and unhiding the frames. All right, so I've finished animating. Now I'm gonna go to my video time-lapse replay. And when I click on it, it's gonna play the animation back I'll play the drawing back first, but then it'll play the animation. Okay, so I've got my bouncing ball across the screen. Um, you can use the slide tool here to, you know, kind of do your flipping back and forth to see how your animation's working. Um, and then I take what I've done here, I'll show you. Um, share, or no, video. Export time lapse video full length. I'm going to save the video. And then I go to iMovie. And select the movie that 
I created. Create movie. Um, and now you'll see here, I have my animation. The first part is me drawing each layer. Uh, I don't want that on my animation, so I can go to the point where it shows just the animation. Split, delete, and I can play back the bouncing ball animation by itself. And the nice thing about iMovie is now I have control. I can control the speed of my animation. So if I want to speed up the bouncing ball, I can do that. I can come in and loop my animation by duplicating it. Boink, 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 boink. And now I got my bouncing ball on a loop. And I can export that if I want. So that's a uh, quick tutorial. I'll post that where people can see it. If you want to know more, uh, let me know. Contact me, um, Dustin Richard Clark, on Facebook, or uh, Dustin Richard Clark on Instagram. Uh, some of my animations I've created are on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, hopefully you have fun animating on Procreate. All right, thanks.